and now the adventures of the garden spider. Come on, come on. She was in such a hurry. The garden spider was busy because she knew she'd found the most proper home. She remembered that it was safe to call the tomato patch her home. Even though last year she was over by the strawberries. But she knew that she could trust Sherry. So she traveled from the strawberries over to the tomatoes. And she, she, it took her some time because she, she waited until September to make her move. And so today, the lovely garden spider has introduced herself and shown Sherry that she's the new guest. Yep. What did she think about that, Owen and Lola? You like the little spider? And all the other guests that are watching too. But yeah, this is a lovely little spider. Same kind as last year. She was over there, like I said earlier, as as, as introing. I've been working on my storyline for my children's book, Poem and Flow. I'm putting things together in my mind. Yeah, I haven't started to put it to paper yet, but I'm going to as it gets colder and I don't do much outside. I don't have much uh, memory on this uh, anyway. I gotta get keep this short. Gotta get a new memory card. But that's the that's the lovely spider visiting and taking care of the tomatoes. I wish you guys the best day. We got a, a big blue day. Yep, a beautiful big blue day. <laughs> it's just a big blue day with our friend, the garden spider. Isn't she cute? Look at her. I hope nothing happens to her. Some stuff ended up getting on the strawberries around the corner last year. And, and then she disappeared shortly after that. But I'm glad that she's back. Whether it's the same one or a new one. Y'all take care.